Magic is a very ancient thing and goes back probably to, uh, I don't know, the Syrians or somebody like that thousands of years ago. White magic is about bringing good to people. Black magic is about wishing harm on people. Um, magic is about changing about change changing a person changing a person's mindset and how do you do that you do it through ceremony um, or just talking I would say that a magician is someone who has the ability to change somebody or even change themselves but somebody else really so they come into a room and the atmosphere is changed they've worked magic um, I, I would say that there are natural magicians in the world those who, who almost don't have to do anything to make the atmosphere change for the good or or in the other sense, to make the atmosphere change for the bad. If somebody um, plans to do bad, and if somebody plans to trick someone in a bad way, um, that is rather cunning. And I've always thought that a lot of car salesmen are a bit like that, or salesmen of all sorts are a bit like that. They'd always offer you the one side of the argument. All they want to do is to make a sale. They're not really interested in you. They're not wishing you good. They're just wishing themselves money. And I've, I've often thought that salesmen are the biggest black magicians there are. They can be evil, they have the smiling face and yet they're not really your friend. Not all salesmen but uh, some. It's become thought that the bad the black magic is, is owing to the what's known as the left path, the left hand path, and white magic is the right hand path. I'm very keen on the right hand path myself. Um, I don't really even want to wish evil upon my enemies. Um, but I, I, I'm very keen to be able to work white magic and benevolence on the whole of humanity. Um, I planted raspberry bushes out in our front verge and uh, originally it was an idea of sort of benevolence so if any if there were any raspberries happened to go there you know that people could pick them for free you know and some people have those sorts of ideas. Um, but, but uh, I think there's far too much uh, uh, darkness, retribution, um, people just looking for their own gain. Um, and then you've, got, then you've got a whole other idea, which I might do in another video, about um, making our own heaven and hell. You know, I think we do literally make our own heaven and hell in this world um, and I wish to bring heaven on earth uh, I, I suppose I'm a sort of a utopian really um, but I'm looking into this white magic idea um, it, poetry has a lot to do with it a humorous poem um, lifts someone's spirit um, especially if it's not written down and passed on by the word of mouth then um, there's a certain intrigue about them. What was that poem that you read? What were those words? And, and somehow with our, um, 
Western civilization, we've everything has to be written down, analyzed, rewritten, another version, and uh, in a way, once once everything is available and truly exposed, then the the magic is taken away from it. If you can memorize rhymes and things like that, or have a saying to lift a particular situation, um, then that's far better. Uh, so I think I'll leave it there for now. Right, bye.